Universal grammar proposed by Noam Chomsky would be much too abstract to actually use in conversation. It has no words, it has no sounds, it has no rules of grammar. It's just a abstract specification for what a language looks like. Like there exists nouns and verbs, there exists subjects and objects, but you still need the actual nouns, the actual verbs, the actual know whether the subject comes before the verb, like in English, or after the verb, like in Irish. So the abstract universal grammar is not something that you can use in, in a human society. The particular languages that we use indeed are not transmitted with 100% accuracy from uh, one generation to the next. Sometimes there'll be little uh, speech errors, sometimes there'll be ways of uh, being lazy in pronunciation to drop uh, a consonant or a vowel or to slur two sounds together. If that is then copied and the copy is copied and it uh, so a whole generation uses it that way, then the language will very gradually change. And that happens in all languages all the time. The, in English, for example, uh, it's, it's difficult to understand Shakespeare unless you uh, have some education and know how he used words. And no one in England today sounds like the actors in a Shakespearean play. And even before that, the language of Chaucer from the Middle Ages is unintelligible. No one can read it unless they've actually studied Chaucer. Uh, and the same is true in, in uh, Portuguese. The Portuguese spoken in the 1500s or the 1300s would not be understandable in Brazil today. Uh, and these are all consist of little changes that you may not even notice at the time, but just like biological evolution or geological erosion, small events as they build up over time can lead to a radical shift in the language. And one of the ways we see that is in spelling. The reason that spelling often preserves the way something was pronounced uh, hundreds of years ago because spelling changes more slowly than pronunciation. Uh, if you look at any feature of spelling that doesn't seem to make any sense today, it's probably because that's the way people used to talk when the spelling system was first standardized.